beautiful beings love you and welcome to this video i'm so glad you joined me and i hope you're really well today feeling and sending you lots of love light and colorful rainbow divine spiritual beautiful prosperity blessings your way and wishes and hopes and optimistic dreams and envisioning your dreams come true of your highest self so yeah in this video i just want to share beautiful dog barking so nice just want to share that with you sorry oh uh, little cute little Lord Yorkshire Terrier so I was going to share with you that in all of my experience with, with triggers pain body ego or shadow um, our, our biggest letdowns and disappointments and hurts from past relationships and from childhood and abuse as well okay we all get we all have a lot of this stuff my friends including you most likely if you're watching this video I think one of my biggest breakthroughs in relationships lately and how I'm relating and myself and my soul flame, my twin partner, my twin mate are getting on, is I've softened up, I've softened my communication, okay, softened my communication, I've stopped blaming her for anything, especially for my emotions and my well-being, so she's off the hook, she's free, I'm not blaming her anymore, I'm not pinning it on her, I'm not pointing it at her. I've also soft in how I communicate and more methodical and thoughtful and soft and careful how I communicate in a softer way that feels friendlier without any idea or residue of the idea of blaming or criticizing or condemning her or wronging her. So that's the, the, the other one is I've stopped wronging her. So she's not wrong. I, va I validate instead and I try and get into her shoes and understand her. Okay, this is pivotal life changing things. Finally, what's so much more important also, and what's the crux of it all, the baseline, the truth, the biggest core issue, is I'm feeling and understanding and remembering, I'm remembering and looking out for her hurt and, and pain and suffering, her hurt, pain and suffering. Once we remember someone else's hurt, pain and suffering, we can recognize it, see it, feel it, know it, remember it, feel it, okay? that's when everything can change within us at least that's when everything changed within me and I, I saw cries I saw tears I saw very sad moments of crying and feeling stressed and overwhelmed I remember and realized beneath sometimes people's triggered harder or harsher or more independent facade can often be someone who is truly vulnerable wanting and really wishing something so different between the two of us and the two of you and your partner it could be your family member or your child or someone you're having fighting with beneath it all they have a dream it's not coming true and they're very sad deep down and if we can remember this and love this truer aspect beneath the outer experience of being not being upset by you you know maybe uh, anything that's angry coming up beneath it all is a huge amount of hurt pain and suffering my friends so recognize that when you act destructive or you know not helpful and doesn't feel good to others that's when you are surely most likely in a lot of hurt and pain yourself so to get in touch with your own feelings my friends and to recognize it's called projecting it's not just someone right there in front of you that's causing you your hurt they are most definitely most surely triggering memories and feelings both either unconsciously or maybe you're you're conscious enough to know what they're triggering the memories the things you've experienced from your past what you think and perceive them to be doing that's actually been done to you in the past and that that is coming up and usually it's an automatic reaction to blame another person because they're right here right now in front of you what else could it be actually it's our past so that's what I mean by stopping blaming people. So words I've used is, like, I don't know, just a quick demonstration. Like, I don't know what I say exactly these days, but I'll just give you an idea, okay? You you think about it yourself, too. I'm not blaming you for how I'm feeling. It's not your fault. That's a massive one. It's not your fault. I'm not blaming you. You're not wrong. You're not wrong for how you think, feel, or do. And use the words, it feels good or feels bad. It, it, it feels good when you do this. It feels, that doesn't feel good. You know, you can say to talk to children this way. That doesn't feel good. Can we do this instead, please? Let's try again. Let's start over. Let's work as a team. Let's 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 start over and refresh. Let's forget about what just happened a minute ago. I mean, like, let's move forward. And let's create something beautiful, beautiful and new. Let's step into our hearts. Let's live from our hearts instead. So it's about stepping from the mind into our hearts. 
or a mixture of both resulting in our hearts being activated. They say the longest journey from is from our head to our heart. I promise you this will change your life forever and your relationships immediately. So lots of love, my friends. Thanks for watching. Big, big honor and respect and dignity for you.